Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. Throughout this video, we are going to learn about custom collection. We are going to learn how collection works, how we can create a new collection, how we can add fields and items into the collection. And finally, we are going to learn how to present data from the collection into our web page. So without further ado, let's learn how custom collection works. Collection works like a database. We can store information about any topic, any category, any listing into the custom collection database and then we can present data from the collection into our web page wherever we need. So let's learn the process step by step now. I'm going to create a new collection. So let's click on add new collection button right here. After that, it is going to show us this pop-up model where we'll find information about the collection we are going to create. So as of now, the collection type is selected to none. So now we can provide a plural name of the collection, singular name and slug or the link of the collection to start a collection from the scratch. But if we want, we can click on this collection type and after that, we'll find some templates which you can choose to move forward with, which is going to save us some time. So I'd love to go with this uh, template project. So I'm going to select. After that, you'd see a plural name automatically has taken projects with the name. So why it needs a plural name? As we'll store data for different projects under this collection, so we need a plural name of the collection. And if you just take a look, automatically it populated a singular name for the collection and it is going to be assigned with each item of the collection. After that, we have got this link, which is slug. So we can customize this link depending on our needs. So I'm going to cross uh, actually delete them after that we have got editing layout we have got full editor and sidebar editor depending on our need we can select the layout so i'd love to go with this default setup now let's click on add collection and we have created our very first collection with this name projects and as you can see for each item we have got this one new project added now i'd love to add few demo contents from here so that it will help us speed up the process so i'm going to click on add 10 projects as an example and just take a look we have got collection items added here now let me talk about the fields if i click on fields we'll be able to see what are the data fields that we have got as of now we have got the name slug or the link content summary client name logo and thumbnail now if we need we can delete any of these fields or we can add a new field so let me add a new field and after that i'm going to show you the data points where it is going to be appear so i'm going to click on add new field from this pop-up model we can select the type of the field so let's click here we'll find text rich text image link number and some other information so depending on your need you have to select the type so let's say we'd love to add a preview link to the project so i'm going to click on link after that i'm going to type out preview link in the level and then we can make this field as a mandatory or required field or we can keep this as it is to make it mandatory we have to click here so that this check mark will work or we can uncheck this if we don't need it to make mandatory so let's click on add new field after that, just take a look. We have added this new field into our custom collection. Now, if I take you back to the collection page and let's say this is a complete entry. So I'm going to click on edit. You are going to find we have got the item title, item description. Then if I click on this post setting option, we're going to find more fields, slug, summary, client name, logo, thumbnail. And this is the field that we added later, which is preview link, right? So we have to provide information here. So let's provide an information or we can keep this blank depending on one need. After that, simply I'm going to click on update and let's click on publish. It is going to be published, right? So this is how we can add new fields into our collection. Let's learn how we can add new items to our collection. So let me take you back to the collections page. From here, we're going to click on this new project to add a new item. So I'm going to click on this. After that, I'm going to provide some information about the project. So let's say design proto as an example. Let's provide some information here. So I'm going to paste some information that I had copied and I'd love to keep this as it is. Let's click on this gear icon. After that, we can provide some summary of the content. I've just pasted some information on a client name. We, you have to give your client's name. So I'd love to give a um, Sia Inc. as an example simple name after that we can upload our clients logo we can upload the project uh, thumbnail so I'd love to upload only the thumbnail as of now 
let's say this one let's click on open after that on preview link we can add a preview link uh, for the actual project right so i have just provided a demo link here after that i have to simply click on create item and then we have to click on publish now if i take you to the project collection we're going to find that we have got this design proto item added into our collection so now we have added a field we have added an item into our collection it's time to present data from the collection into our web page so let's learn the process i'm going to click on this design and page option from here let's click on leave so that it is going to take us to the editing panel of the web page and we can show the collection data in anywhere of this web page depending on our need so let's say i want to add the data right here after this header section so i'm going to click on add new section and after that we are going to click on custom section and as custom collection is a cms element so we have to work with this cms row with column options so we can go with any of these column based templates but we can obviously increase or decrease columns depending on our need so i'd love to move with this first one and after that it is going to show us to connect to a database so i'm going to click on this here after that from this configurations panel we're going to add the data source so i'm going to click on here after that we have to specify posts or custom collection so as our intention is to get data from the custom collection so i'm going to select custom collection and from there we have to select the collection so i'm going to click here after that we have got only one collection so it is showing up here so i'm going to click on this project and here we go it is now connected and if you just take a look as of now we have got one column two column three and four column in this cms row now we can adjust that as well we can simply go here on this edit cms row style after that from pagination setting we'll be able to provide item per page we can make it to let's say two item per page we can just take a look we have got now only two columns we can give it to three items per page depending on our needs so let's move with two item as of now okay now let's populate data from the collection simply i'm going to click on this add element and one thing I'm going to work on one column, right? But it is going to take effect on rest of the columns under this CMS row, right? So whatever style we are going to provide on one column, it is going to take effect on the rest of the columns, which is going to save us time. So, and this is an um, impressive feature. So I'm going to click on add element. After that, let's add our project title. So I'm going to click on heading title. After that, I'm going to remove this default text from here. And let's click on add CMS fields then i'm going to select name just take a look we have got the project titles added for two projects now we can change the heading tag from h1 to h2 h3 h4 depending on our need so let's add h3 as of now and after that i'd love to populate the thumbnail image so we can do this by clicking on this add new element below button and after that we can select image then specify the source we're going to click on add cms fields then i'm going to click on thumbnail just take a look the thumbnail has been added now it is looking too big because this column is 100 percent width based so i'm going to work on this column i'm going to reduce the column size here but it is going to take effect on the other column as well so let me show you how if i click on this edit column option and from here if i click on 50 percent just take a look we are seeing that this column got 50 percent weight and this column got another 50 percent of the weight we can make it to 33.33 percent so that we'll have another column added here if we want to show other column uh, here as well so i'd love to go with 50 percent all right now we can connect this image to a link so that whenever someone will click on this image they'll be able to read more details about the project how we can do this simple i'm going to click on this image element editing panel after that we have to find this option image link url we have to select to link after that the link type is currently selected to external link so in this case i'm going to click here then select cms item slug after that i have to specify the url so let's click on add cms field and then we have to specify the slug now let's cross this out and it just worked for two of them if i click on publish and if i visit this website in a new tab we are going to find we have got two posts added here now if i click on this link it is going to take us to this respective post now if i go back if i click here it is going to take me to that respective post for this project right so now let me take you back 
if you want more information to be presented here we can do this by following the exact process simply you have to click on this add new element below um, icon after that you can let's say if you want a um, read more button to be added so we can simply select regular button i'd love to keep the button style as it is here and if you just take a look we are seeing button added to both of the columns so i am simply going to change the text let's say read more and then i'd love to link this button to our project so we're going to scroll a bit down and we're going to find this button link option from here from link type we're going to select it is currently selected to external link we're going to make a change to cms item slug after that from url again we have to specify the slug now if someone clicks on this button they will be able to read details about this project same for this one if someone clicks here they'll be able to read details of this project and now we have got few more options that i'd love to show you if i click on edit cms row style we'll be able to find this row container option from where we'll be able to increase or decrease the column gap depending on one need right so let's keep it to 50 as of now all right and from pagination setting just take a look this load more button if you want a gap into the top simply we have to go to this pagination setting and for this load more button from load more style you will be able to change the text to load more or read more and whatever then you can change the font size as well you can change font weight so as i want a gap into the top so i'd love to scroll a bit until we find this margin option from here i'd love to give a margin of 40 pixel to the top and if you want some space in the bottom as well of the button then you can simply make this like this or you can give a custom value as well let's say 35 pixel depending on your need so yep it is locked so it is making change on both of the places all right just take a look this is how it works now if i change the background color of one column it is going to take effect on rest of the columns for instance if i click here on edit column and let's scroll a bit down until we find this background option so let's click on this we are going to change the background color to red or whatever the color you would love to all right just take a look how it is looking like if you just give some padding inside this column it is going to take effect on this column as well so let me show you let's click on edit column let's go to style and inside the padding for the padding i'm going to give left padding of uh, 25 pixel as an example and the right i want 25 pixel as well just take a look it got padding so we are working on one column but it is going to take effect on rest of the columns now if you want to show more data here uh, on this instead of this two column the process is simple you have to click here on this edit cms row style icon here after that from pagination setting you can increase the number of posts that you'd love to show for instance let's say i want to show three posts just take a look one more post added if you want you can even add five posts you are going to find five posts added and you have to provide the margin values to make the spacings in between the columns right so or, or actually basically we can do this from here let's go to style we are going to work on one column but it is going to take effect on all the columns again so let's click on style and after that from margin top i'm going to give let's say 10 pixel and on the bottom i'm going to give 10 pixel just take a look we are seeing some gaps um, appeared here so we have to measure the gaps and then we have to give the proper gaps or proper margin values to make it look nice so this is basically how the custom collection works this is how we store data on custom collection and this is how we present data from the custom collection to our web page i believe you have found this video helpful but if you have got any further question regarding custom collection please feel free to ask us by commenting below and thank you so much for uh, staying with us have a good day bye bye